Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a PowerPoint presentation using Python. The library that we're going to be using is called python-pptx. So we need to start by installing this in our development environment by typing pip install python-pptx in our terminal. I've already installed that, so I'm going to skip that step. We're going to use a new file for this example. The very first step is to import the library. I'm going to type from pptx import presentation. Next, we want to create the presentation. So we need to create a new presentation object. I'm going to call this variable presentation equals presentation and we execute that like so. Now that we have a new presentation, we'd like to go and create a slide. But to create a slide, we need to select a layout. If we go to PowerPoint, uh, you can see when you create a new slide that there are a few different layouts to choose from in the default theme. There is a title slide, title and content, and so forth. And if you go to the documentation of this library, you'll see that it explains here that the slide layouts in a standard PowerPoint theme always occur in the same sequence. And they are given a unique index for us to select starting from zero. So index zero would be the title slide, index one would be title and content, and so forth. So we need to select a layout using that indexing. It's important to mention that the files that we create here can be open not only in PowerPoint, but also in LibreOffice Impress, which is free to install and works on all platforms, as well as Google Docs. So you definitely don't need a Microsoft Office subscription in order to follow along. Um, I did want to mention, though, that in LibreOffice Impress, let's open that here, the order of the layouts is not the same as in Microsoft Office. So if we go here and change the layout, um, you're going to see that they don't really follow the exact same order as in Microsoft PowerPoint. So keep that in mind if you are using LibreOffice Impress. All right, so our slide layout is going to be saved in a variable called slide underscore layout. And we're going to access our presentation dot slide underscore layouts and select the index number one, which is the um, title and content layout. Now that we have the layout selected, we can actually create the slide. Let's save that in a variable called slide equals presentation dot slides dot add underscore slide. And we're gonna pass the slide layout. And I also wanted to mention that if we go back here in the official website of this package, you'll see that there is a documentation portal which has a lot of examples and deeper um, specifics on the different APIs and what's available. Important to mention as well that this library is actually quite powerful. It is not only for creating PowerPoint presentations, but you can also use it to open and edit existing presentations. So back to our code. Now that we have created the slide, we are going to add a title and add content. So if we go back here in PowerPoint, I'll show you that there are, you can see that there are two different placeholders, right? There's one that's, um, that will serve as a title and one that has the content of the presentation. And these placeholders are accessed um, through uh, an object in Python. So let's go to our library and here we're going to type slide.placeholders. The title one is the one in position zero and then dot text that will allow us to uh, enter text here. So this is going to be my title. And for content, we're gonna do the same thing, but it's going to be the one in position one instead of zero. And here we can type hello world. If you wanted to add a new line of text here, you can add a new line character and then add something else here, like bye. So this is how you add 
slides. If you wanted to add more slides, you can just repeat the same code. Essentially, this part here will add, let you add additional slides. The last part is saving the presentation into our hard drive. We're going to type presentation.save. That's the, the method to save the presentation. And in here, we need to give this a name. I'm going to call it test.pptx. And now we're going to execute this code. So let's run that and see what happens. If we go to our folder, you'll see that there is a file text.pptx. I'm going to double click on that to open it. And here we go. So we have our title and our text. And because the default placeholder here is with bullet points, then it took uh, it used that and added our content. If you are interested in automation, this is a very powerful skill to have. Thank you for watching this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.